What is up, YouTube? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today at Breaking Vintage Cards, we are going to talk about 2024 Sage Lowe's Numbered Series. And before we get into that, got one blaster box to go through, by the way. But before we get into that, let's talk about can you go broke purchasing sports cards? Of course you could go broke purchasing sports cards. You could go broke purchasing anything. Are sports cards more valuable than anything? No. Uh, are they a little bit higher than a, in value than a lottery ticket? Yeah, probably. But can you go broke purchasing sports cards? Absolutely. 96% of your money in each box, each box is going to be wrapped up in base cards. Base cards. Now those are great for completing a set, but are they great for collectability? If they hold value to you, fantastic. If you like to trade them with your friends, awesome. But are you going to get big money on the market for them? Absolutely not. You're putting 6% of your money into parallels in each box. And unless you're willing to spend six, seven, eight hundred bucks, you're not going to be guaranteed hits in every box. So buyer beware whenever you think about going to the hobby shop and picking up a box and thinking that you're going to get the latest CJ Stroud Auto or uh, pick your favorite player, you know, Jackson, Jackson Holiday or, uh, you know, um, geez, let's, let's throw it back old school, maybe like a, a Ken Griffey Jr. If you're looking for that stuff, folks, you might as well just buy slab because then at least you know it's authenticated and that's what you're going to get. But otherwise, if you're just going dumpster diving through boxes to find this stuff, it's going to be a long road. So let's come along today, take a look at what's in this uh, 2024 Sage football here and uh, let's see what we can pull out of this. All right, let's take a look. All right, so there it is. Three guaranteed autos, 60 cards per box. 24 low series football and we are going to get into it hope everyone has been doing well and enjoying the channel enjoying the content like subscribe comment share big thumbs up big thumbs up are always appreciated these are going to be boxes empty steve please share really helps out the uh the channel big thumbs up as well i think what we're going to do is just Tear these bad boys open. Shouldn't be too long of a video today. Looks like we got about five packs plus a mystery pack. And um, like I was saying at the outset of the video, you know, we just as a kind of look at the channel and being a, doing 200 videos and stuff like that. I think we've done every type of box except for the high dollar boxes. And I got to be honest, I got a day job. I can't afford the high dollar boxes. So, you know. Somebody wants to donate some, feel free, reach out. All right, here's our Sage. Tear into this last pack here. Settle in for a video that should take about seven minutes. That's the hope. There we go. And here we go. Spencer Rattler, Neighbors. Again, what I was talking about in the video. So here's your parallels for Sage. They got the two different colored backgrounds right there. Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna get pretty much the same stuff. Sage is not a bad product. I mean, like if you're if you're down with looking at different types of uh, um, card companies and stuff like that, Sage, Wildcard, they are not bad companies to go with. Leaf, especially, um, I think Sage and Leaf really do a good job of producing high quality cards that are just, you know, look like your standard tradables. But, uh, you know, again, these are, you're gonna get what you're gonna get, right? You're gonna get, uh, you know, your Frank Gore Jr.'s in here. You're gonna get another Frank Gore Jr., your Keon Coleman's. And so you're basically getting kind of one of each card right there. There's a Jaden Daniels, probably gonna go high in the draft. I think that's the second or third time we've seen Barry Sanders, Malik Neighbors. So, I mean, the cards are nice. Let's take a look at the back of one real quick here. So, I mean, they're they're nice cards. They give you all the information that you need, really. And um, you know, the good thing about Sage too is that there is a collectability market for it. I mean, you know, you got to know some people, but it is a collectible market. And, they do have all the top prospects. I think last year, Anthony Richardson, CJ Stroud. Um, who else was in there? 
was somebody else too. But anyway, they had Barry Sanders. They love their Barry Sanders here. And uh, Funk Burke, Bo Nix. So you get like cool cards like this. I mean, like if you're looking for a Bo Nix, who's going to be a maybe a low first round, second round pick in the, in the draft. There's a Bo Nix right there. Not bad at all. Um, Will Shipley. Troy Franklin again. Shipley. So you get the you get the base parallel. All the you know, I don't know. The only thing with Sage is that it is kind of just a, a cluster in terms of what you're getting. It seems like it's the same five, ten players over and over again. But um, that's kind of it's kind of their deal. And so that's that was the quick down and dirty right there because there's nothing super exciting to see in all that base. And remember, we want to see the autos. So here we go. Let's get into it. Find out who we got. All right. Let's move that out of the way. And the first auto we're going to have. Looks like we are going to have Curian. I'm not going to. I'm not going to spell it or say it because that is a name I cannot say. So I don't want to butcher the young man's name. But there, congratulations. We received an auto from him. And it is a sticker. But cool nonetheless. It does have some collectability. Next up, we are going to have Mason Fairchild. Mason Fairchild is going to be our next auto. He is a tight end. Mason that's the University of Kansas right there. Okay, so that is our second hit. And now we are on to our last hit. If it's CJ Stroud, it made the box. If it's uh, Jaden Daniels, let's see. Caleb Williams, let's see. Let's see about Davarius Richard or Richard. Either or. DWR. There he is right there. He played for North Carolina Central University. All right, that is our third hit right there. So, again, $24.95. Here's what you got out of the Sage, okay? And if you are, again, looking for the big return on investment, boxes like this are probably not going to give it to you. But tell us what you think. Leave a comment down below. Caring is sharing. Always appreciated. And we thank you so much for being a part of the Breaking Vintage Cards family. Click like, subscribe, comment down below. Big thumbs up, big thumbs up. Please help us uh, get these videos out there. And as always, we appreciate you watching. We know that there's lots of YouTube channels doing the same stuff. Thanks for stopping by, being a part of everything. And until next time, we'll see you.